In today's video, we are checking out 10 amazing apps to definitely consider downloading on your Apple Watch to allow this amazing device to get even more capabilities like our iPhone. So my name is Eddie. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's do this. Starting off with the first app and that is Cheat Sheets. Now this app is free to download. Just however, there is a one-time purchase which is $5.99, but you can always just tap exit and all you're paying for is just for one-time capability to be able to use this app to automatically synchronize on your iPhone and your Apple Watch. But with this Cheat Sheet app, basically if you work at a retail store like Best Buy is my example, previous experience, whenever there's like Dells or discounts in your department, as an example, you can write them down right here and while you're talking to a customer or a client, you can just bring up the sheet sheet right here real quick and see the notes that you have for today's specials and you can also go ahead and edit them, uh, set a title, replace text and such like that. Or you can make other things like restaurant plans to make sure you go view it all over if you're talking to somebody so you don't forget like somebody's dog name or something like that. Or just Jack is the name as a fine example in case you're meeting up with somebody and you want to highlight like important things and not forget. That is where Cheat Sheet comes in play. And if you notice, there is indeed is a uh, complication right here for the watch face. So yeah, uh, the app is called Cheat Sheet. Now the next app is perfect for those that like to listen to their local radio stations or you may find the built-in podcast feature also useful. My tune radio is what I like to use whenever I'm on, out on a run and I'm just solely relying on cellular reception on my Apple Watch because you can stream your radio right off your Apple Watch and have the audio paired to your AirPods. So if you tap on the player section, you see you have the capability to switch from iPhone streaming or Apple Watch streaming. When you select the Apple Watch, click close, select play, It'll resume whatever radio station you're listening to. So I was listening to KWIN and I also have it bookmarked as well in my favorite section. We can actually have a category of favorites right here. But we'll go ahead and pause that. And here you also notice you have the capability to search for podcasts as well. Now the podcast that I like personally like listening to, I don't see them on here. It's not supported. But you may find your podcast here. And if it is, you have the best of two worlds in one single app local radio station, and podcast listening. Other than that, that's basically my tuner in a nutshell. It's free to use, which I like, and no hidden fees or anything like that. Now for app number three involves an accessory. If you're figuring out how you can actually run a camera on your Apple Watch, that is where this accessory comes into place. And the app that it relies on is called Wrist Cam. And basically this allows me to actually record from the Apple Watch like so. And the resolution, is not bad actually. Here's a little replay how it looks like. But here you have the capability to switch from video to photo mode and even you could even FaceTime people too. It's not Apple FaceTime, but it does allow you to actually like video stream on your wrist with somebody else or go live on a different platform. So of course you can invite people, hit contacts. It's really interesting and it's a free service too. All you have to do is just buy this accessory though because you are required to actually purchase the uh, camera band. But yeah, if, you're fa if you've been wondering if there's a way you could FaceTime off your Apple Watch in some way, this is the uh, accessory that allows you to do so. And there is stability control as well to solve for a little bit. And then of course you can switch from the front and rear camera like so. And like start a little video recording but yeah the app for this is called wrist cam and uh it's pretty cool i'll have it all also link in the description as well down below but here's how uh facetime will actually look like if you do use this to call somebody now i recently found myself out of state i was actually in canada and currency converter error i like this app because the apple watch side it's super easy to use because as soon as you launch the app you have the selected currencies you like to keep track and by simply tapping on one, let's say for example, something's $50 in US, you like to see how much it converts to in other places. So in Canada, $50 is 68 and then British pounds, Euro, and even pesos. So that doesn't seem right. Comment down below if that's, uh, that's out of the order. I think the app glitch, but yeah, this app works. There's no ads. However, the actual main app on your iPhone uh, can't be uh, 
it's bombarded with ads, unfortunately. But if you force quit and like constantly relaunch it and keep doing it and slide it down, you can add currencies right here and it'll quickly update to the Apple Watch. So this is the currency app I like to use if I don't want to verbally request Siri or chat GPT to uh, tell me a certain currency. This one I could just stealthily just tap and then see how much $50 is in uh, Canadian to US. Now with AI taking over, we know chat GPT is great and I've done a whole dedicated tutorial how you can replace Siri on your Apple Watch with chat GPT. You can check it out right there. But if you don't want to do that, you don't want to go through the trouble and creating like shortcuts and stuff like that, and you just like to have answers answered, Nova. Nova is the app I like to use when it comes to just having quick general research topic answered. So let's say for example, if we go ahead and quickly ask it, why was the Pinkertons trying to sue Red Dead Redemption? Tap done. Let the AI do its thing. It also includes sound feedback as well. Sue the developer of Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games, for using their name and badge, badge design without permission. The Pinkertons argue that they're confused and misleading players, thinking that the... Wow, that is a long sentence, but look at all this research that was able to give me. All quickly, just like that. So, yeah, not bad. And of course, you can reply and add more information if you like. So, I like using this app, this AI as an example because it's free and it's straight to the point but yeah that's a uh, nova ai chatbot in a nutshell it's primarily just designed to answer your questions but it also supports with th different languages as well now if there's never an aircraft above you or a helicopter just making circles around you, you want to find out exactly what it is download flight radar 24. this basically allows you to see in live time the aircraft that's above you as well as see what type of commercial airplane it is if you want to see like where it's coming from and stuff like that i'm not going to click on it it's going to give them away my location but this is the app i like to use and it's super useful on your iphone so if you like to the capability to track of what kind of airplane is above you see what's doing if it's not chp or something like that this is the app you want to go ahead and launch and i have to update mine now this next one is perfect for those that do a lot of presentation and you rely on the Apple Keynote app as an example because when you actually launch the app and you actually start to skit or like the, your little PowerPoint or Keynote presentation, if you tap play, this is just something I just cooked up right now last minute because I couldn't find my pre-made ones, but you can actually control the slider right here on your Apple Watch. This is all thanks to Apple just integrating the uh, Keynote app on the Apple Watch because you can actually find the Keynote here as well as you can actually control your PowerPoint presentation and convert it into a Keynote so you can actually play it in the background if you're giving like a live presentation. Now if you live in Seattle or an environment that rains a lot, maybe Portland or something like that, and you like to be notified every time it's about to rain, I highly recommend checking out Rain Alarms right here. The app is free to download and will basically continuously just notify you when there's a rainstorm coming or just rain in general, as it does give you the capability to view like a live weather forecast right here on your wrist. And if we go back to the app store, here's a little uh, screenshot on how that actually looks like. So just extremely useful if you live in a very rainy environment and you like to know when it rains at all times. Now the Apple Watch Ultra does have its impressive like in-depth uh, capabilities to track your swim runs and such. Well, there's actually third-party apps that gives even the standard Apple Watch SE or the Series 8 some water tracking capabilities too. Swim Pro is the one I'm gonna go ahead and show you as soon as it loads. My Swim Pro basically allows you to see these type of additional information on your wrist because after all, even the Series 8, even the SE Apple Watch is technically water industry generating up to 30 meters and 30 meters it still is a lot. So here you can actually track your yards, your sprint. If so, if you do like a lot of like swimming activities, this is the app you definitely wanna go ahead and check out because it allows you to actually have some of this capability right here. Now, I'm not a swimmer or anything like that, but this was the app that one of my swimming friends recommended. And uh, yeah, if you're an athlete in these type of categories and you like to see this type of swimming information, check this app out. And lastly, if you're looking for a web browser that's not Siri, you can actually use uBrowser. It basically allows you to actually like type in whatever URL you like to search on. If you click on it, search, 
but based off the previous search results, this is how quick it loads, and this is how fast it allows you to actually browse through the internet, of course. I'm just gonna type something randomly, hi, I guess, search for something to trend in, and uh, you can see how quickly it loads. It loads a lot quicker than WebKit, is the thing they noticed, and this app actually supports complications as well. So you can actually create like a shortcut for your watch pay face using this browser. Here, let me go ahead and show you. For some reason it's not in the images, but I saw it earlier. Right here. See? And then now you have a quick shortcut to the web browser. And there you guys have it. Links to all the apps as well as timestamps will of course be linked in the description down below. If you're curious what band I'm using right here, I'll have that link in the description as well as that uh, camera accessory band as well. However, before you click off, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe to please the YouTube algorithm for more friends and families can see this video and also allow them to get more advantages and better usage out of their Apple Watch to really make this thing even more superior than other smartwatches available in the market. Because that is the real reason why the Apple Watch is my personal favorite device, all thanks to the community and that it has access to the App Store. Aside from that, I appreciate every single one of you guys from watching. If you'd like to watch more, check out this playlist over here where I code through my favorite games you can download on the Apple Watch to kill some time. Anyways, again, my name was Eddie. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.